don't know. Just Braga Benz, just some more love. Keep it locked right here. This is the T-Ship, the TV station that bringing you all of the things that you need to know about reggae music. All about in you know, the Waco, you know, the South Pacific. I don't know if classify the area, but a worldwide way I go. So just keep it locked right here, yeah? Red square. Hall legend Spraga Benz in Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha, Spraga. Respect, much respect. How are you doing? I'm fine, you know, give thanks. Okay. Are you feeling the aloha? Yeah, it's a nice atmosphere here. Yeah. How long you been here? About two days now. About two days? Yeah. Okay, you been to any beaches yet? Well, the beach is right there, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're an island boy, yeah, so the beach is not really that big of a yeah. <laughs> Well, we're really excited to have you here and have you perform. Have you had any local food since you've been here? No, just some fruits and things, but no, no food. You're vegetarian? Not really. I eat fish. Eat fish, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So talk to us about some music. So you just dropped some new music not too long ago during the pandemic. And I listened. And I was so inspired because at the time when you dropped that music, the song Vaccinated, right? It was at a time where speaking your truth is almost criminal, you know? And to hear people that, you know, I grew up on, I, you know, I was young in New Jersey, you know, in the clubs, you know, dancing the Spraga bands. So to hear you come out and speak out in this kind of time, I was wondering what, what made you do that? What was the courage? What pushed you to say, I have to put this message out here at this time? It was the way that I felt and the, the, the music, the inspiration of the, the rhythm dictated that, I, you know? A melody like that would work and the, the, the times was that this was currently what's happening and it was my concern so I just expressed myself. Yeah we really appreciate that. Did you get any like um, pushback from the music when you put it out at the time? Never wasn't my concern. Yeah. Uh. It's just putting the message out there. I understand that. Yeah how do you feel about performing in Honolulu? The first time, you know, it's a, it's a good vibe. I, I give thanks for being here and, you know, they have to do my best regardless. Give thanks. We th- give thanks for having you here, you know. Is there anything you would like to say to the audience out there? We're representing the Micronesian, the Polynesian, and the Melanesian audi- audience. And, you know, this is your music and we're sharing it. You know, you have people all over the world that listen to reggae music and they don't get the chance to connect on this kind of a level, yeah? So you have anything you want to say to those fans out there? Yeah, I want to tell them I appreciate the love and the support that they have given to reggae music. We hope that it continues, you know. Yeah. All who are not aware of my music, I might not be familiar with it yet, they can check it out. You know, we have um, a new song just been released with a, a local from Hawaii, her name is Hairi, and the song is called I Miss You, so you know that's something. Hairi Love. Yeah, so that's, they can, you know, that's something that they can look out for as well. We have some other new releases, dance hall wise, Easy Yourself, um, Dark and new albums to come as well now just putting out a new movie second chance it was just shown in jamaica so you know a lot of work is being done that they can get themselves in tune to yeah local artists iri love we know iri love we love iri love she's a really good friend of mine actually i'm really excited to hear that you're doing some music with her in the movie second chance how's that going yeah it's, uh, it's getting good reviews and the feedback from the people in the streets is great you know so we're looking forward to it just continue its trend and getting out there where it needs to be. So I was watching an interview with you and they asked you if you were going to go more into music, I mean more into movies, what kind of movies would you want to get into? And you said you want to get into more like comedy, right? Do you feel like you're a comedian? Well, no, it's not like more like comedy. I was just saying that I, I wouldn't want to box myself in. So even comedy, I, I, whatever it is, we're going to do different things. It's not going to just be gangster movies every day. Yeah, I mean, as we get older, yeah, you, you know, you go through phases, yeah, you feel like you're in a different phase in your life from when you did those kinds of stuff. Not even about being older, it's just me being a person like that. I never like to be like pigeonholed. Some would have culture songs, would have girl songs, would have gangster songs, would have whatever. You know, I'm being one type of 
artist, you know, I'm an artist across the board. Right. Artists is all around the board. I respect that. We give thanks. Well, we're really excited. You haven't go gone on yet. We're excited. I've been here since like nine o'clock waiting for you. I'm legit a straight up fan, right? And I have to tell you a quick story. So I have two little girls, eight year old and a 12 year old. And I was like, I'm going to be interviewing Sprocket Vans. And it was like, who is that? And I said, I can only say one thing when I think about Sprocket Vans. I got, I got a hype off of you and she and I got all hype on them. And it was like, what are you talking about? But I was so excited because this is like really nostalgic for me and I'm, we're really happy that you're here. Aloha and thank you for being here.